afternoon, good morning, good evening. I never know when this is being viewed, but for me it's morning. Oh, I had my coffee, I'm ready. Okay, we're going to do an elf tutorial from start to finish. And now what my start to finishes are gonna look like is I will find the most important things to complete a look because um, <laughs> this stuff is very costly. I am not being sponsored. Even building an arsenal with the uh, budget-friendly kind can, can add up elf, which by the way is a cruelty-free, vegan-free, and clean. So I think we will try, well first, I need to put my whiteout <laughs> on my nose. Now, I didn't find one by elf, but I do have this one from L'Oreal. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this green on my, this, this green on my um, fingers. And then I'm gonna put it on the redness. Oh, I got a lot. Heavy hand. This is where I'm really red down here. All right, I think that's dry. A little, oh, now I'm, my hand. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, and it's a doe foot. Those are strange. I don't think I've ever used one. Okay, well, I'm going to put it, just dab my doe foot. <laughs> Terrible noise. I don't know, maybe you can get it more <sighs> precise. We'll start with the face. Remember, I don't like a whole lot. Now, let's see. Oh, you know, this feels wonderful, you guys. No smell. Turn around the big part of my mirror so I can see. Oh, it goes on beautifully. It's, it's glowy, but you know, you have a powder. I always do a finishing powder. Oh, I gotta get down on the necklace. I like the color. What do you think? I'm getting better at matching. Don't forget the ears. Matching my skin tone. Okay, now I do have dark spots. So what I like to do before I go on any further is I'll take, now that this is a little doe foot, I'll go to the areas that I really want to add a little, little coverage. I don't like a lot of makeup. <laughs> and then you just go over. Wow, I like that makeup. Do you? Cool beans. All right, my eyelids. I thought I had it memorized, ladies. I am very sorry. Mad for Matt, nude mood. Yeah, you know, I'm just really fond of the nudes. Look how pretty. I'm gonna go with this one right here on my eyelid. And there's a, a reason for that as well, because when you have hooded eyes, and I do right here, you know, I'm just getting the skin coming down. We got to make an illusion. It's, it's, they're pigmented, but they're very light. So I am going right over, as I've showed you before. And the lighter on the lid will help bring it forward. And you just want to do the lid, and I do the center. And take a little brush like this, or you can take a little flat one like this to the brow. So I'm going to take that same color and highlight right under the arch. And a little bit down. We want to bring some highlight. We want our eyes to draw up there. Okay. Yar. And I'll go ahead and do this one too. It will, it's subtle, but it will, it will reflect. We're trying to stay away from the clown look because we want to be taken serious. We are serious, fun people. That's all I know. I'm going to take my little whoosh like this. I think I've showed you this before. It's just a little one like that. <laughs> and I'm going to try to go a little darker. I'm going to put it on my wrist first. So that's it. And I'm going to go right above my crease 
because when I close my eyes, you don't see that crease. So my crease is right above where a normal crease is. Well, that's going to be your normal crease because we have a little hooded here. Got to be careful. We got to work on that. We do clean up after. So I'll put it in here. I think I've shown you this before, but I'm trying to be more conscious by keeping my eyelid lighter and up here lighter to bring my eye lighter. No, up. To bring my eye less, you know, that's not very much. To me, it's just subtle. I'll show you again the colors I use. Right. And don't go any farther than your able. Okay, for that. If you didn't understand, that was eyeball. What's good for the crazy eyes is new face. You just got to keep, you know. Well, check out my video on that. That that does help with eyes. And we don't got we don't want to put it. We don't want to drag our eyes down. So I'll probably have to put clean up on it. Clean up on aisle five. All right, I'll go a little bit in my crease. I do have these little fat pockets in here. Those are always hard to disguise. You can't really do anything about them, so you just try to mask them. I put, I don't want them to be lit, so I'll put a little dark here. Just a little, whoop, and make sure I got this one. Kind of maybe do a little V, but we want to have it up. We'll perfect it later. I am going to take my Fluff Fluff McGruff brush and do a little blending because I want this up, 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 And then you look straight at the camera or straight in your mirror. Okay, now I want to clean up this corner. Now, I want a little brightness. So this is not necessarily where makeup is a good thing using because it's the same color of what you have on. So I had this eraser concealer stuff by Maybelline. And it has a little thing on the end, I screw like this, and then I dip that in. Make sure you don't have too much on, or you have some on. And then I go in the corner. Now this will make it lighter, and that's what we want to do. We do want to bring some light to the under eye. And I'm going to go ahead, because of the sake of this hooded eye mini tutorial, kind of, I want to bring that up, and you don't want to go past your eyelash or eyebrows. You just want to have it flicked. Take the lighter in the corner, and it does help, because I have little pockets there, you know. So I'm just going like this. And then I will take the rest down. So it is good, then, to have a concealer for the eyes. Oh, now it's time to powder. Okay. It's time to use our powders. All right, I, I'm still loving my Lori Mercier translucent powder. This little container here, I think, cost me $20. Whether the full size is double, I'm not sure, but this has lasted forever. And it is so worth it. It's just, mm. And then I will. I will go. I will go on the grease, the grease thing. And under your eyes to keep the, um, Concealer from sinking in to any lines that should decide to appear today to try to ruin your happy glow. All right, different. Okay, so now, oh, this honey drip. It's bronzer contour, and I have a little brush that I just love right here, and it's by e.l.f. It's a putty brush, <laughs> so it works good. So I take it in there. Oh, I don't have to dab it, it's cream. And then I will go. See, it's very subtle. You must make this face. It's a part of the rules. This goes on nice. You don't need a lot to cut up, to carve out your face. So I get down here, as I've showed you before, and then I bring it down so I have a little baby. 
you've seen this, but if not, and you can, it's light enough. I keep trying to shake it off. Used to powder. You know, just do the, like that. Oh, I always forget my nose lately. I did a little of that, and I'm going to go right down on the side. And here, side, to make my schnoz appear a little more, um, you know, narrower. I got a schnoz. I have my daddy's schnoz. He's so cool. You remember my dad. He was a hoot to loot. Okay. Now, so I'm going to take the mascara by Elf. This, um, I told you what it was. Okay. Cool. That's nice that it has a real tight pull out. And then you go the base first. Oh. Okay, there's no clumps in this on the brush itself. We're going to let that dry. So we want to bring those eyeballs up. That's why I don't really do anything on the bottom. Uh, I have had people say to get a cream colored um, tight line pin or and to run it just in the corner there that'll help brighten up your eye but I haven't found one yet if anybody could suggest a good creamy colored um, water line for your lower lid okay so now it brings me to the pretty pretty blush blush three dollar blush blushing blush oh you know what I forgot I was supposed to be using those brushes my Ipsy I'm going to try this one, complexion brush, in the powder. And then, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's so, it's so subtle. It's just adding a little bit of, I put it on my bananas. Yeah. Oh, oh look at that, ladies. And then I think I'm going to go here, here. I mean, you can go. It's so subtle. You can go on your nose. You could do this as an all over. It's got a lovely little glow. What do you think? This is by Revlon. This is a little tiny mini eyelash curler. So what I'm going to do, I believe you hold it this way. I'm going to go into the corner carefully and crimp. I think you like you crimp a couple. This is the first time I'm Really? I want to crimp those corners up. Got a shaky hand. I told you I'm not as steady as I used to be. Then I'm going to put my mascara on and I'll probably crimp again. So while that goes and we try a little bit more, I'm going to do a lipstick. Now remember, I use City Beauty Lips. I'm going to wipe it off. Go back over. Like so. And today I'm using this L'Oreal uh, lipstick in Neuhusent. New. I don't, why? Why can't they just name them red? I'll take my favorite lip liner by NYX Loud in the Mauve and I will do my lips. So I make my bow more exaggerated. I'll do that. All right. What do you think, ladies? Boy, I love that makeup. I need to put on my pretty pretties and my pretty earrings. I get these at Silver Forest. They're just, they're beautiful. That's the ear earrings I primarily wear. I did get some in Alaska by Josie somebody. They're just the same. I just like the antique different kind of looky-loo. Oh, and I do think I will do one more coat of my mascara because as I said, this isn't really a clumpy mascara. Now with my hair, this is second day. No, this is third day hair. I didn't wash it this morning. That makeup 
is really pretty. It doesn't feel like I have any makeup on. I love the eyeshadow. I think the eyeshadow is lovely. I hope I did a good um, pre-hooded eye tutorial. So coming next, I am going to Bend next weekend to see my BFF, Miss Holly. We did a video on um, the last time I saw her on the, all the masks that we tried. They were It was so much fun. So this time, she is not a makeup wearer. She does not like any of that stuff on her, but she has agreed that I can do a like a BB cream makeup, real subtle, like some of this, like with e.l.f., with this little highlight that's getting eyeshadow on her. It's probably gonna, you know, make her cranky, <laughs> but we're gonna do it and we're gonna bring it to you after I get home. Remember, take care of yourself, be kind to others, and say your prayers. I'll see you next week, bye.